units, the old armies of Europe would be tested against Mongol-style warfare. In the fertile grasslands of Liegnitz, the Mongols would face Europe's greatest armies, led by the forces of Poland. An army from Bohemia was marching to assist the Polish forces gathering at Liegnitz. Together, they hoped to stop the Mongols before Western Europe succumbed to a full-scale invasion. If the Mongols acted quickly, they could defeat the scattered Polish army and force the Bohemians to withdraw. The Mongols had adopted gunpowder technology from their Chinese subjects and now brought with them the mighty nest of bees. This explosive projectile weapon allowed them to target the enemy with a devastating barrage of rockets. By raiding the enemy's farmland, the Mongols could plunder valuable resources. smoldered and smoke billowed to the sky. The Mongols claimed the spoils from the wreckage. defeated the Polish detachment and continued their unrelenting drive. Oh! 
The Mongols eliminated Poland's knights, dealing a critical blow to the European forces. Despite being outnumbered by the European armies, the Mongols were victorious. As fire scorched the farmlands of Lignitz, Europe reeled in horror. The ingenuity of the Mongol Empire had brought a terrifying new kind of destruction to the doorstep of the West. While the Mongols in the north destroyed the Polish army, Batu Khan and General Subutai rampaged through the south into the heart of Hungary. Tricked into an intense pursuit, the Hungarian king chased down these foreign invaders, all the way to the plains of Mohi.